bisecting lines and the Shaolin Hungar bridging hands they are exactly the same okay and uh, the Taizu Chang Chuan from the northern Shaolin I'll just show you when you do that in Pigiri Tertia this is called the bisecting line principle because when he gives me one from there see I bisect I bisect I bisect so when he's giving me a jab I bisect okay so Hungar you have the same the bridge hand okay you do this this is the bridge hands of Hungar Kung Fu, okay? So when you uh, do your form, in the last part of it, you have this one. So basically, again, he is doing the Pikiri bisecting. Look at this. I, now I'm doing the bridge hands of Hungar. It's the same thing, see? This is from the Hungar, the tiger, okay? Then you have the Tai Tzu Chang Chuan. This movement is exactly the same thing. So basically, when he gives jab cross, you see, you bridge, you bridge, you bridge. So I'm going to show you one technique, which you'll see in all the systems, in Pigiri, in Hungar, in Shaolin, in Taizu. Okay. So something which Grand Tuhan likes a lot, you see, when somebody gives a jab, see, you bisect, you bisect, and you see, you tap our shoulders and this. So that's oh. a tap. So I'm here on this side, okay? I do it from here. So this tap on the shoulder basically represents a slap on the back of the head. Okay. So he gives one, that's a slap on the head. That's a throw. Okay. So you go one, slap, and that's back. Okay. So in GT always does mm, like this. Okay. So you have the same in Hungar. <coughs> the same. So in Hungar Kung Fu is also the same thing. So imagine he's right leg lead. So when he punch, you see I bridge the hand like this. Why? So when he's coming here, you see, it's here already off balance in Mabu. This is the tiger. That's on the jaw, okay. He will come to the side, we'll do one more time, slowly. So he jabs, you see, this one hits the jaw going up and this one hits the back. Yeah, okay. Now you have the the Tai Tzu Chang Chuan. Same. Come here, close. Left leg lead. He gives me jab cross. Mm, fast. See. Go inside. Go, go, go. So move one. See? And move. And now I bridge the hand. Go. Hui. See? I'm here. And then the same thing. Everything which I'm doing here is I'm actually doing it slowly. But if you see when he gives jab cross, that's the arm break. Let's do this. This is the arm break from there. Okay? That's the Break the jaw, okay? This one is a slap. This one is a knee trip. The same thing is the kiri. When he gives a jab, slap, and you see, mm -hmm. off balance like right. From here. Now, finger, same left leg. Bridge, you see? Bridge, you see? You break, break the jaw of the person. So, no martial art is good or bad. It's the practitioner which makes the martial arts look good or bad. So you have the bisecting line, call the Mama Daga, so pop, 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 okay. You have the Hunga Kung Fu, same. <coughs> and you have the Shaolin. So you have the three drills from three system. One, two, <coughs> this is Pikiri Tertia, okay. This is, <coughs> this is Hunga. And this is <coughs> Shaolin Kung Fu. All of them the same, have the same meaning and the same application. So, moral of the story is, respect everyone, believe in what you do, practice, 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 till you can actually apply it in a free flow. Thank you so much. This is Shifu Kanishan, that's my instructor. Okay.